Dear Ones. I am Archangel Michael. We continue our series of prayers. The results really are fantastic. You have no idea, my brothers, what is being done behind every word you speak. You are following it to the letter. Congratulations. This light group of mine is sensational. You are high in thought, high in heart. Yes, they are full of defects, full of things to improve. Know the following, my brothers, that this will, this faith, the trust that you have placed in each procedure, in each prayer that you say, is enough to cover everything that you still have to evolve. Because this faith, this trust, this homogeneity between all of us. Yes, I include myself in the middle. I am among you, so we are all equal. No, don't be surprised that I say I'm just like you. I am. I am because I am a divine spark, so we are all equal, before our father or mother God. We are all, we are all the same. Yes, I have some powers, some little things more than you, but the love, the love is the same. Whoever loves, loves the same way. The feeling is one. Be mine, be yours. So the feeling is unique. So we are all equal. My brothers, my brothers, rise up. Believe that you are powerful beings. You are galactic beings, who are on this wheel of incarnation due to an oversight, a small error in the course. But you will now find your way. In fact, they have already found the way. Everyone is on the trail to reach the fifth dimension. Yes, it's as if there is a central point and everyone is heading towards it. You are on one of those paths. All together, one helping the other. It's like I said yesterday, whoever is higher up is pulling whoever is lower down. It's as if you are hiking on a closed trail. Whoever is further ahead has that machete that opens, cuts, the tall grass, to be able to pass. And then everyone who comes after, breaks up this bush a little more, and the trail begins to be formed. So whoever is at the end of the line is already taking advantage of something easier, the trail is now open. So my brothers, each of you has your role. Each of you has your own path, and whoever is further ahead. No, don't think that whoever is further ahead is fine, is calm. No, his role is much greater, as he has to open the way, he has to find the way in the middle of the dense forest, to take you to the fifth dimension. And that's what whoever is up front is doing, this path is opening, and you are all going after it, them, because there are many of them. It's not just one. There are many of you, in the most different degrees of evolution. There are many of you, and understand, every day you increase more. You will bring new people, who will start to follow this path. No, don't think it's a very easy trail. It has ups, it has downs. There are stones, it is a difficult trail, but you already did it. So whoever is entering, will get it too. One thing I would like to tell you, don't be bothered by those who come here and don't believe in what is being done. They ironize. They criticize. They condemn. Do not answer my brothers. Don't respond. Just emanate light. That's all. Emanate light to them so that they find this path, which you have already found. Because they haven't found any path yet. They are lost, still involved in the web of the third dimension, where they think that all of this is a lie, all of this is irrational, all of this is pure fantasy. So just emanate light. Do not respond, nor lower your vibration, with feelings of anger towards those who cannot see the path. Everyone will see the way one day. Just. It's like I've been saying, maybe it's too late. Time will have passed and so will the opportunity to choose. So don't worry. Nothing hits me. Many find it strange when I say that I don't care what they think about me. They think I'm being rude, they think I'm being sarcastic. Interesting. Very interesting. Because I'm an archangel, I just have to say cute things, sweet things, loving things. It's an interesting point of view. No, I don't have to be, this totally sweet being, that you were used to believing, 
that we would be. We also attract attention. We also speak louder, we speak more seriously, to get your attention. This does not lessen our love, nor does it lessen our power, and that doesn't mean I'm a fake. This, I repeat again, is being inside the third dimension and not imagining that a being of light can speak in such a way. Yes, we can talk however we want. We're not worried about that, and when I say I don't worry about what people think about me, I'm not being sarcastic. That's exactly it, if many think this is a big lie, that I have no power, that I am just an angel, not that angels don't have power, they do, but may I be just a simple angel, I'm not worried about that. I'll say it again, I'm not worried about what they think about me. I know who I am and I know what I am. Ready. If that's being rude, then I'm being rude. I'm not worried about that either. I'm here to tell the truth. And if the truth often has to be said in a harsh way, in a harsh way, it will be said that way. My brothers, you have to get out of this closed world, this all prissy thing, that you think we have to be. This doesn't change who we are at all. You have to get used to the new world, a new way of seeing things. So get out, get out of this prison, where you think everything has to be beautiful and wonderful. No, my brothers, I think you have already learned that not everything is beautiful, and not everything is wonderful. The truth is out there and it is very ugly. So, I won't worry here about just speaking sweet words, and about being 100% loving with you. No. I will often be harsh, I will even be sarcastic, so that I can pass the information on to you. I'll say it again, I don't care what you think about me. Whether I have power or no longer have it, if I am an angel or if I am an archangel, or if I am an offshoot of our father or mother God. I'm not worried about that. I know my role. I know what I am and I know what I have to do, and that's what I'm doing. So my brothers, don't worry. Let it go. Whoever arrives, has no echo, leaves. If you start to echo, then things start to get complicated. So, don't echo. Pray for them, emanate light, ask God, our Father or Mother God, to illuminate their minds, may they leave this third dimension prison and begin to see a little further. Before we start talking about today's topic, I will leave the prayer of the day. Today the prayer is about the Divine. My Archangel Michael. May my heart be filled with joy, be filled with emotion, be filled with light every time I pronounce the name of that Divine One I love. I know it doesn't matter who He is. It doesn't matter what my belief is. What matters is my faith, my trust in the Being to whom I am offering my prayers. May I always be heard, and have my prayers answered. Well, today's topic, I'll talk about it once again so there is no doubt. Many are worried, remain concerned. Today we will have the lunar eclipse. What will happen? Visually, nothing for you. Nothing happens. Only you, whoever has the opportunity, will see the moon being covered by the earth. Ready. Just that. This time, there is no dark spot on the planet. The dark spot will be on the moon and you are not there. You are here. Yes, these phenomena always bring major changes, but I can tell you that the changes are already happening it will not be because of the eclipse that they will happen. Observe your planet. Observe around you, what is happening on your planet. Not just where you live. Everywhere. Start observing. Everything is changing, everything is in motion, because the event continues. The event continues at the speed it has to, nor late, nor in advance. Everything is as expected. The small obstacles we face were already foreseen, and are being eliminated, little by little. So the only thing I ask you again, keep your vibrations high. Don't be put off by anything you see. Understand the following my brothers, I understand that it is very sad, when you watch your news and see homeless people, people injured, even dead, due to accidents on Gaia. I understand, it's all very painful, but I repeat to you. My brothers, everyone has already made their choice. 
Everyone on the planet right now, today, has already made their choice, he already knows exactly where he's going and how he's going. Whoever knows he's going to Quinta, knows he's going, and you know how it goes, whether you go in the physical body, or whether you go in the spiritual body. It doesn't matter. For us there is no difference, you will just leave this physical armor here on the planet, but you will follow the path of the fifth. So my brothers, everything is always happening with the ultimate purpose of respecting each person's decision. I already told you this, and I'll say it again, we are trying to do everything as slowly as possible, in the least impactful way for you. However, things will start to speed up a little. And you have to be prepared. Yes, you can suffer, you can cry, but that's what I said yesterday, cry. So what do you have to do? Ask God to enlighten these souls and for them to find the right path. He cried. He said the prayer. He finished. They won't be crying all day. You felt the feeling. They cured him, and that was that. He finished. This is what you have to maintain, my brothers, because from now on you will see this more and more. More and more you will see people. Let's go. Let's say things very clearly. You will see people dying. Yes, you will see more and more. So there's no point in you crying. So, you better sit in a corner and start crying from now on. You have to be strong, to maintain your vibration. I repeat again, everyone made a choice, and everyone is in the right place where their choice will be respected. No one is out of place. No one is at the wrong time, in the wrong place. No, everyone is in the right place at the right time. So my brothers, start preparing. There will be some difficult times ahead, but it's part of the game. I already told you, a lot of people don't go to Quinta, many people will not take the train, a lot of people will take the tram. And these people, the vast majority, are taking the tram. So my brothers, the trams come and go to pick up more people. And many are going every day. And, we are going to intensify the number of trams a little, so that these people start going more quickly, begin to effectively cleanse the planet of their presence. No, I'm not judging anyone. They have condemned themselves, they have made a choice, that they don't want to go to the fifth, they want to stay in Tercera. So great. So the choice has already been made, are taking the tram. They chose violence, they chose evil, they chose the wrong path. Am I the one judging? Of course. It was their choice. So here they won't stay this has been said for a long time. Here they will not stay, because this type of feeling does not resonate with the fifth dimension. So, you are being kindly invited to take the tram. And they are catching on. They are happy. Believe me, they are happy to know that they will continue to exercise these small third dimensional feelings, in another place. They're already imagining, wow, I'm going to dominate a lot of people. There are many who are already thinking like this. It's a new world, so I'm going to dominate. Excellent. Do that, but not here. They'll do it somewhere else. So my brothers, be prepared, because every day more things will happen, not only here, but on the entire planet. And you have to be ready. Warriors of light, yes, you can cry, they can suffer, yes, they can feel for the brothers who are leaving, yes they can, but you have to feel, pray for them, and that's it. This is how you have to act. I already said it, I said it yesterday, and I'll say it again you will lose those around you. What do you understand by this? I don't think I need to be clearer, because not everyone around you is resonating with the fifth dimension. There are those who resonate, and very well, with the third and do not want to evolve. Even if they are your relatives, or even if they are very close to you. It wasn't your choice. It was their choice. So, I guess I don't need to be clearer. Necessary? Be strong. Be light. Be love. Be balanced. That's what you need to be.
leave the rest to me and I'll sort it out, because I already said that I'm with each one of you. Maintaining this vibration, I am with each of you. Trust that. And then you will be able to have more and more strength to stay on the path. I am Archangel Michael. Yes, I coordinate a good part of this process, but I have the power and conditions to be with each of you, who trust me and want my help. Don't try to understand the how. Your mind is still too limited for that. Just believe. I am with each one of you, and I'm sure many at this moment are saying, Yes, I know you are my Archangel.